Cobra Kai depicts all the drama that occurs while kids practice karate, as well as everyday adolescence drama. The show's young ensemble is going through some significant life events. On the show, Jacob Bertrand, who plays Eli Hawk, recently disclosed he suffered his first car accident. Additionally, we also want to delve into everything you need to know about the upcoming season of Cobra Kai. Stay tuned for all the inside juicy details. Firstly, Jacob Bertrand, starring Cobra Kai, gets in car accident. Cobra Kai depicts the turmoil that occurs when kids practice karate, as well as everyday adolescent drama. In real life, the show's youthful ensemble is going through some significant milestones. On the show, Jacob Bertrand, who plays Eli Hawk, recently stated that he was involved in his first car accident. I got in my first vehicle accident ever just this weekend, and you were in the car with me, Bertrand stated on Lone Lobos, explaining his highly anticlimactic car mishap. I was stuck in traffic and touched the car ahead of me. Oh my god, what the? The lady exclaimed as she exited. How did this happen while you're stuck in traffic? She sounded exactly like that. While many suspected it was some crazy car accident, it definitely was the complete opposite, which we're happy to hear. Everyone involved is okay, no one was hurt, we're happy to report. So since we are on the topic of Cobra Kai, what can we expect for this upcoming season and if there will be a fifth season? Next we have Cobra Kai Season 4 details. Season 4 of Cobra Kai is almost here, the latest part of the Netflix show has been given a release date, and it'll be available on December 31st. In the meantime, we've had plenty of sneak peeks and teasers to chew through. Netflix has already published two teaser trailers, and we've also gotten remarks from important names both in front of and behind the camera about what to expect from the new season. Here's everything we currently know about Season 4 of Cobra Kai. As we mentioned earlier, the release date will be the 31st of December 2021, so we don't have much longer to wait. Now let's take a look at the Cast. Daniel LaRusso and his longtime nemesis, Johnny Lawrence, will definitely be returning, as it would not be Cobra Kai without their constant sparring, verbal or otherwise. Ralph Macchio and William Zabka are back, and they're better than ever. Exolamari Dwala, Miguel, Mary Mouser, Sam, Tanner Buchanan, Robbie, Jacob Bertrand, Hawk, Peyton Liss, Tori, and Martin Cove, Kreese, all return to reprise their role. Dallas Dupree Young and Uwana O'Brien will join the Cobra Kai Season 4 Ensemble, while List and Vanessa Rubio, Carmen, have been promoted to series regulars. Thomas Ian Griffith, who plays Terry Silver in the first season, will return for the fourth season, according to Netflix. The villain in The Karate Kid Part 3 is almost certain to play a large part, given how the third season concluded. Meanwhile, much has been made of Aisha's disappearance throughout the third season's events. Nicole Brown, who played the character, announced her departure from the show on Instagram. The character's story may not finish there. We love that character, creator John Hertzwitz told Pop Sugar, and hopefully we'll see her again one day. What about Allie? Elizabeth Shue reprised her role as Daniel, Johnny's ex-girlfriend. Depending on how the creators arrange the following tale, the door is very much left open for her to stay. So what will go down in season four? Last season had plenty of remarkable incidents, especially near the end, which left a lot of unanswered questions about what's to come this season. In the U18 All-Valley Karate Tournament, for example, Johnny Lawrence's Eagle Fang and Daniel LaRusso's Miyagi Do will connect as they aim to defeat Kreese's Cobra Kai. Because Johnny and Daniel are always had a frenemy relationship, safe to assume that working together and coming up with a game plan that they both agree on will be difficult. Zabka revealed his thoughts on how his character will approach the co mentoring challenge in an interview with Colander. He stated that their past experiences will motivate them to work even harder to resolve issues and make this cooperation a success. There were a lot of heartfelt moments in the last season which would most likely spice things up in terms of the youthful cast. Hawk has returned to the good side while Robbie welcomes the crease-led opposition. This is likely to have an impact on their relationship with other characters on the show, who they previously regarded as comrades. Samantha and Tori had a lot of rivalry in season 3, which will most likely continue in season 4. Hurwitz spoke with Deadline about the new feud between these two favorite characters, as well as how the upcoming season will be particularly memorable for them. Aside from what has already been discussed regarding Terry Silver's narrative, we may see a lot more scenes between him and Kreese this season as they deal with their rocky past, which was previously explored in the third season. Will there be a fifth season? Apart from what has already been mentioned about Terry Silver's story, we may see a lot more moments between him and Kreese this season as they work through their tumultuous past, which was previously explored in the third season. With just 
over a month until the fourth season of Cobra Kai premieres. Co-creator John Hurwitz confirmed that filming on season five of the acclaimed series is nearly complete. Season one of the successor series to the original, the Karate Kid trilogy, debuted in 2018 on YouTube Red, followed by season two in 2019. However, the show was left without a home because YouTube decided to discontinue creating original scripted programming after filming season three. In June 2020, Netflix purchased the rights to Cobra Kai and broadcast season three on January 1st, 2021, with season four planned to premiere nearly a year later on December 31st, 2021. Cobra Kai co-creator John Hurwitz has now taken to Twitter to answer some fan queries regarding the show. He acknowledged that filming for season five's last episodes is still going on, but that he couldn't give any more specifics about the plot since anything I'd say would be a spoiler. After the premiere of season three on New Year's Day, there was some doubt regarding whether viewers will be able to witness Cobra Kai season four in 2021. However, the news of season four release date in September, as well as a new trailer to go with it, sparked a lot of enthusiasm and buzz among fans. Cobra Kai season five was renewed in August of this year, even before season four debuted, which wasn't surprising given that it's one of Netflix's most popular programs, reaching number one in 28 countries. Now questions we have after watching the season four teaser. Cobra Kai's third season came to a close with a bang with fans ecstatic at Johnny and Daniel's partnership and looking forward to the next All Valley Tournament. Fans have been waiting for the show's fourth season and Netflix rewarded them with a preview during the Tutum event. While seeing the teaser, viewers have a lot of questions, so let's look at some of the most pressing ones that we hope will be answered in season four. Why is Hawk fighting with other students? Hawk was not only one of the top Cobra Kai pupils, but also one of the show's biggest jerks, bullying other Miyagi-Do students, including his best friend, Dimitri. Nonetheless, Hawk's redemption tale was the focus of Cobra Kai's third season, in which he developed a conscious and switched sides from Cobra Kai to Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do. Despite having forgiven himself, Hawk shoved a student into the restroom stalls in a short scene from the teaser. Hawk's aggressiveness towards a presumably rookie combatant raises some doubts at this point. Was it started by the other student, or did Hawk ever change his mind? Has Johnny actually ever met Terry Silver? Given their affiliations with Cobra Kai, many people believe Johnny and Terry may have met at some point. Terry was Kreese's business partner at Cobra Kai, and Johnny was one of Kreese's students until the 1984 All-Valley Tournament when he quit. Despite a plausible supposition, it was never proven whether they knew or met because Johnny did not appear in Part 3. While Johnny is likely to have heard about him via Kreese, it's possible that Season 4 will be the first time he meets Kreese's cruel best friend. Furthermore, it'll be fascinating to see how Johnny learns about Daniel's past with him and how these events may influence their drive as they prepare for the All-Valley Tournament and their blossoming friendship. Who will come out victorious at the All-Valley Tournament? Of course, the All-Valley Tournament is the one thing that everyone is looking to in Season 4. Stakes are great because the winner will affect the fate of numerous characters. If a Cobra Kai pupil wins, not only will Kreese stay, but Daniel and Johnny will face consequences. Although the tournament was not shown in the teaser, it's likely to occur in the final episodes, maybe left out of the trailers as a surprise. Sam, Miguel, Tori, Robbie, and Hawk are the front runners for the tournament so far. Their possibilities will be assessed as the fourth season progresses. Based on their training and growth, however, given that Miguel is the defending champion, it's debatable whether he has fully healed from his injuries and regained all of his strength. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Cobra Kai Season 4, along with the car accident that Cobra Kai star Jacob Bertrand found himself in just recently. Thanks for watching.